All right, so this is the feeler dealer labeling, and I'm going to go through with you how you should um, maybe approach the problem in writing your force diagrams, but also how to label your force diagrams. All right, so we have a person that's pulling up slightly on a box resting on a 10 kilogram table. And so right now we don't really care for uh, maybe the values of everything, so we just wanna focus on what um, the interactions are, okay? And so we have a box, okay? And the box is sitting on top of the table. Okay, and that table is sitting um, on top of the ground. Now this box is being pulled up by a spring scale and that spring scale is being pulled up by a person. All right, so let's take a look at um, the normal forces, right? So the box is sitting on top of the table and the table is sitting on top of the ground. All right, and now the um, box is being pulled up by the spring scale and the box is pulling the spring scale down, all right? And the person is pulling or is um, being pulled by the spring scale. And the person is also pulling on the spring scale. And of course, we um, everything is also interacting with the earth, okay? And so we have the ground is interacting, the table is interacting with the earth. We have the box that's also interacting. Okay, and everything is interacting. All right, what we're going to do now is focus specifically on the box. We're going to take a look at all the interactions that's happening with the box and we see that there is one, two, and three, okay? So we are going to focus on um, those three interactions that's happening. So the objects in question would be the box because that is our really primary concern, the box and the spring scale, okay? The force type that they have together would be, um, as you can see, would be a tension force. Okay, so F for force and then T for tension. And if you're going to type it, you can type it like this. So our feeler here is the box. Our dealer here would be the spring scale because that's the other object that's interacting with the box. And the label for it would be F, T, B and then S, or if you're gonna type it, you can write it like this, okay? And the spring scale is pulling the box up. All right, so then that takes care of that relationship. And so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this relationship, which is between the box and the earth. Right, and so then that would be an FG or F underscore G. So the box would be our feeler and the earth is the one that's interacting with the box. And our label would be F for force, G for the force of gravity on the box from the earth. And that direction would be, or if you're gonna type it also, here you go. And the earth is, um, giving a down direction to the box. All right, and so now our last interaction is going to be between the box and the spring scale. And so we have the box and the spring scale. Oh, no, we talked about that already. Um, sorry, the box. Whoops, so we have the box and the table box and the table, and they have a normal force, right? So we have this relationship that we're discussing. 
um, and F underscore N. So our feeler would be the box and our dealer would be the table. And the label for that would be F N B T and F underscore N B T and the box and the table. So the table is pushing the box up. So that means that this direction would be up. So you have to think about what is the object doing to the um, feeler. All right, and so let's go ahead and draw our force diagram. So we have a box here, and it has um, a down direction, right? So it has a down direction from the earth. So force of gravity on the box from the earth. And the things that are interacting with the um, box would be the up. So that would be the, so this arrow would be labeled as force of um, tension on the box from the spring scale. And then this, then we have another up arrow. So we'll just go ahead and connect the tail to that. And that would be um, the force that is normal on the box from the table. All right, so that is the um, interaction or the interactions, and this is the force diagram for the box. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the interactions that's happening with the table. Okay, and we have um, one here, the normal force, and we have another normal force, and then we have this gravitation um, interaction with the Earth. So let's go ahead and take a look at this normal force with the box. All right. Let's make that green. And so we have the table that is interacting with the box. And that is the force type is going to be normal. Okay. And the feeler for this now would be the table, since that is our center of attention. And the table is interacting with the box. And the label would be a normal force with the table and the box. Um, so a normal force on the table from the box. And so now we're going to ask, what is the box doing to the table? Is the box pushing the table down? or is the box pushing the table up? All right, so if you set down, then you are correct. Okay. All right, so now our next interaction that we are going to cover is we are going to take a look at the table and the ground. Okay, so the table and the ground. So the table and the ground have an interaction and it is a normal force. Okay, so the table and the ground would be our dealer and our um, notation would be F, N, T, and then G or F underscore N, T, and G and the ground is pushing our table up. All right, and then our last one would be the table and the earth, so we have F, G, um, so if you're typing it, you could just type F underscore G, and so then we have the table that is feeling the force of gravity from the earth, and we would write that as F, G, T, E, or F underscore G, T, E, and the earth is having a down or direction on the table, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and draw our force diagram. So we have a table, all right? And we are seeing that there is a normal force, sorry, a, a force of gravity So there is a force of gravity 
on the table from the earth. And we see that there's also a, um, a force from the box that's pushing the table down. So we'll add that in, a force that is normal on the table from the box. And since we know that this is balanced, what we're going to do is make sure that this arrow going to the top is um, equal to the arrows that are going down. Okay, so this is going to be equivalent, hopefully, to the down arrows. And so I have F, N on the table from the ground. Okay. Now, Newton's third law pairs, what we're looking for is something that has the same force, the same feeler dealers, but they're in opposite directions. Okay. So, Newton's third law pair. So that would be the same force, right? So the same type of force, same feeler dealers, but reciprocal, so, um, but switched, right? And then the label would be, so force type, the same would be here and then these two get switched, okay? And then the directions would be in opposite directions. So we're looking for something that have been, that was labeled in the box and also labeled in the table. And we see that we have a normal force here for the box, uh, on the box by the table we also have a normal force here on the table from the box. And we have a Newton's third law pair. All right, and so that is the feeler dealer labeling. If you have any questions, please make sure to email your teacher.